Investment seat for this race. Here's the lineup in lane order. On the outside in lane six, Colson Smith. He hasn't been a swimmer for long. He wants to beat 55 seconds. His personal best currently 57. Next, it's Ryan Thomas, who's desperate to get back on track after last night's disappointment in the 400 meters. Wes Nelson in four. The overall leader going into the second day should be in contention here as well. In three, Max George. He's last overall, but aims to battle back in the pool despite a perforated eardrum. Josh Herdman is in lane two, hoping not to swallow as much water as he did in training last week when he feared he might be drowning. And in lane one, Kevin Clifton, second overall at the moment. Quietly wrapping up the points with his consistent performances. Well, looking at Ryan Thomas, he's more relaxed than he was last night, Simon. Big crowd, great atmosphere. Final few moments for our swimmers to focus their minds and get ready. This is where the going gets tough and the tough get going. Wes Nelson, the one in the pink hat. Ryan Thomas next to him in silver. Max George has a blue swimming hat in lane three. Josh is in the green. There he is. Well, the coaches were looking for an explosive start. Josh and Wes both came up with that. Max is keeping up with Wes Nelson at the moment. It's Wes Nelson and Max George. They're coming up towards the turn. They need to make that turn. Push off now, back for home. Wes has the lead. Max is with him, but Josh Herdman is coming on strong in the green. Nearest the camera. Wes Nelson at the moment looks like he's got this. Max George in second place. Josh Herdman's being challenged by Ryan Thomas for third. Wes Nelson takes it. Max George is in second place. Josh Herdman finishing third, Ryan Thomas in fourth, here comes Kevin Clifton for fifth, and Colson Smith isn't far behind either, here he is, touching the wall at the end, and that was a men's 50 freestyle to remember. Once again, Wes Nelson, excellent technique, he was and way from the start, Simon, he really did well at, at the beginning. Just look at him now. He's a powerhouse. Ryan Thomas was late getting in the water, but look at Wes go. Anybody headed him? No, not at all. He stayed in front from the beginning. Watch this turn. Superb. Look at that. The push up the feet was excellent. And then it was all for second place and well done to Max George who followed him all the way and we should I'm with Wes now you just said you messed up the turn but you still managed to win Wes well, <laughs> come on there's the boys <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah I did a bit of a doggy paddle before I got to the wall <laughs> you know, I, wasn't, I panicked I wasn't I wasn't close enough but yeah is that the, the thing were you looking to see how close Max was to you I had no idea. I was just trying to not drown at the end. <laughs> um, no, yeah, it was, it was tight. I was trying to run my, well, swim my own race and, yeah, just keep my, my eyes on the goal. OK, well, you are the winner. Give him a round of applause. I do want to come over here to Colson. One minute, Colson. You beat your time for 55 seconds. How do you feel? I'm buzzing. I think <laughs> I'm probably the happiest person ever to come last in an event because for me, that's massive. And even, it's not even beating 55, like I'm at 47, which is like 10 seconds quicker than what I did in the last training, so I'm buzzing. He's buzzing. absolutely happy. He's only just learned to swim. Give him a big round of applause. You've got to be so proud of yourself. OK, 